Hi, I'm Natalie Zeroni with Amazon Prime Video, and this is a breakdown of the characters in A League of Their Own, the new original series. Get right into this character breakdown with one of the stars of the show. You've seen Abby Jacobson before, but never like this in a period sports dramedy. She not only stars in a league of their own, but is also co-creator. Abby plays Carson Shaw, a woman who loves nothing in life more than the game of baseball. Not even her husband. How's it being back home? How are you feeling? I'm happy to be back with the family. Have you heard from Charlie? I have, yes, yes. He is actually great. Or, or, or I mean great, you know, considering the wars. Carson leaves behind her quiet life in Idaho for the opportunity of a lifetime, trying out for a spot on the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League. Sidebar, the show is based on this real-life league, which started in the early 40s in the wake of so many male baseball players going off to fight in World War II. Back to Carson. She manages to make the cut as a star catcher on the Rockford Peaches, a team based in Rockford, Illinois. And when we first meet her, Carson is a little awkward and not very confident in herself. Are you following us? No, no, no. I, um, I was just... I was just looking at this wall. It's just sturdy. It's good. It's a good one. No, you're clearly going to tryout. You can't follow us. We're not here to help the competition. She doesn't look like that much competition. I mean, I could be competition, I think. Oh, yeah? So let's go. We're late. But everything changes when she makes the team and starts leaning into new life experiences. During the show, Carson grows close to teammate Greta, who helps the nervous Carson come out of her shell and gain confidence both on and off the field. <clears throat> All right, everybody, get in line. Line up right now. When I talk, you listen. You, you're starting. And I'm signing to you, and you're taking every single one. Got it? <laughs> The other main character in A League of Their Own is Max, played by Shantae Adams. Max is an incredibly ambitious pitcher with an arm that could, and does, rival her male baseball player counterparts. And while her knuckleball is extremely impressive, it's not quite enough to change the hearts and minds of the white men in charge of keeping the women's baseball league all white or white passing. I can throw a curve that looks like a marble over the plate. And I can do it without sending a telegram first. You know, a lot of these boys are going to the majors and the Negro leagues, and the I rest know came all from about them. Your team. I've been coming to these games since I'm I was a I'm sorry, girl. kid. Everybody on the team has to have a job at the factory. Respectfully, sir, I'm not leaving until you see me pitch. You'll be sleeping here then. Despite this normal for the time, yet still incredibly racist rejection, Max is still determined to play ball. She goes to great lengths to achieve her goal of making a team, much to her mother's dismay. And also much to her mother's dismay, Max's blossoming exploration of her sexuality and gender. Max's character is based on real life Negro League players, Mamie Johnson, Connie Morgan, and Tony Stone. Next up is Greta, played by Darcy Carden the Rockford Peaches resident fiery redhead with a personality to match. Unlike her teammate Carson, Greta is confident, sophisticated, and downright enigmatic. She's the type of woman who's not afraid to indulge in life's greatest pleasures. As a matter of fact, on the surface, she doesn't seem to be afraid of anything at all. Some of the games I listen to happen right here. I think the Cubs are playing here tomorrow. What? Yeah. No pressure. No pressure. Greta is a fun-loving gal determined to grab life by the balls and inspires her teammates to do the same. Joe, played by Melanie Field, is Greta's childhood friend, part hype man, part confidant, and totally the life of the party. Joe's the Babe Ruth of the team, a slugger who's known for her epic home runs. Her excellent baseball skills match her bigger-than-life personality, and like her BFF Greta, Joe isn't afraid to speak her mind, 
be true to herself, or stand up for her fellow teammates. Uh, yeah, we can't play in skirt. Yeah, we're ball players, not Follies girls. Nothing against the Follies. This one person loves the Follies. Can't get enough. Another BFF duo is completed by Clance Morgan, played by Bimosala Ikomelo, ride or die to the previously mentioned Max. In a show filled with rebels, Clance has done everything that's been expected of her in life, settled down with a man, and started to keep her own home. But Clance isn't your average housewife. First of all, she actually loves her husband. But of greater interest, Clance is obsessed with comics and comic book characters, poring over stories, and even writing and illustrating some of her own. She's also loud, hilarious, bubbly, and always supportive to childhood friend Max, who, by the way, quite often needs a pep talk from Clance. What did you tell your mom? <laughs> She'd be so pissed if she knew you went to tryouts. I didn't tell her anything. <laughs> she does not run my life. I am a grown woman. Yes, you are. I call the shots. You do. I do. Yes, you do, sir. But we should, should probably, probably just yep, uh, just tell her, make her I didn't even think about that. Because she gonna kill you and you know right. that, so. Mm -hmm. Let's run through a couple more Rockford Peaches teammates. Like Shirley, played by Kate Berlant, the wholesome good girl who always plays by the rules. Motivated by crippling anxiety, Shirley can't help but constantly chime in with opinions about what she deems dangerous or inappropriate. As time goes on, Shirley develops into a vital part of the team when Carson helps her overcome her fears. I love the girls. I love them, but there is a lot of anxiety in the room, right? And I know myself, and I know that other energies, they attach on to me, right? And I, and I absorb them, and if someone else is anxious, then I go, oh, yeah. <gasps> sorry, sorry, I should, I should be anxious, and then I'm anxious. Maybelle, played by Molly Ephraim, is our blonde bombshell, brimming with charm and charisma. She's the Rockford Peaches Marilyn Monroe, if Marilyn Monroe was a professional baseball player, Maybelle is kind-hearted and hilarious, and definitely has a wild streak. I ditched my last guy before I came out here. A lot of guys, they see all this, they see all this, they think it's all nah, 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 but no way, okay? I'm gonna talk their ear off, and I'm gonna eat more hot dogs than they can, I'm gonna outrun them. Lupe, played by Roberta Colindres, ran away from home and her complicated past in Mexico to join the Rockford Peaches. She's a talented pitcher who is dead set on being the best athlete she can be and impressing her coach with a honed-in skill and determination. Why don't we just do BP and Lou will throw and we'll figure it out? No, uh, Terry's gonna do that. Wait, you, you said you're ready. You said you wanted to go back in. I'm not a warm-up pitcher. What is your problem now, Stryker? Her! She's my problem. I don't f***ing trust her. And neither should any of you. Jess, played by Kelly McCormack, hails from Canada and is tough and hard-headed. She came here for one thing and one thing only, to play ball. And while Jess may have a hard exterior, she's also always there for her teammates, working to keep them focused and on track. Oh, you're spreading germs everywhere. You ever heard of the flu? Or... Ever heard of shut the hell up? Yes. Esty, played by Priscilla Delgado, is the youngest and fastest player on the Rockford Peaches. She came all the way from Cuba to follow her baseball dreams. And even though Esty doesn't speak a word of English, her playful personality manages to shine through to all who meet her. Miss, Miss, Miss. Hey, you're the uh, Cuban girl, right? Yes. Yes, your yes. mom said you could speak English. Yes, uh, Oklahoma with the wind come sweeping down the blade. Right, great. Yeah, you know what? Maybe we don't talk to the press today. Uh -huh. Yeah. Last but not least, our dose of testosterone in this female heavy show. A clean shaven Nick Offerman plays the Rockford Peaches coach, Casey Dove Porter. The ex Cubs pitcher is more than a little obsessed with his former baseball career and never misses an opportunity to tell his team all about the glory days. He's charming and a major baseball celebrity, which means at first the team idolizes Dove, hanging on to his every word. But Dove's celebrity status quickly loses its charm, as the players suspect the coach's dedication to the team is more lacking than they realized. This is, okay, you're one of my dad's favorite players. I, I was just wondering if maybe you would uh, sign it. Sure. Yeah, my family doesn't really believe this is real. <laughs> Check this out. Wow. Hang on, what's this? Magic. Mm, yeah. And that's it for this character breakdown. Don't forget to watch A League of Their Own, the new original series on Amazon Prime, streaming now.
If you like this video, please like and comment below and subscribe to Amazon Prime Video's YouTube page. Once again, I'm Natalie Zeroni and thank you for watching. See you next time. Match. Whoa, oh my gosh. I see the See whole... you later. We have to try everything. Right Drink now. Hello. Hello. This and later. Oh. I don't care about the show. I just want a good blooper reel. I want to learn <laughs> science. science. <laughs> you guys are going to make the look like I'm in the show, right? You're gonna put in the effects. Replace the green. I don't want to look like an asshole here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>